What picture comes to mind when I say the words returning veteran who has coped with mental issues? I doubt sincerely that it looks much like our very next special guest. The courage that was recognized with the Medal of Honor also gave him the courage to speak openly about the challenges that he and thousands of his brothers and sisters face upon returning to civilian life. Please welcome Sergeant Kyle White. Thank you. Uh, before I begin, I want to kind of share something funny uh, that happened to me today that I think, you know, the, the veterans in the room will definitely, uh, you know, be reminded of their time in service. Uh, you know, today I had the, the excellent opportunity to come see the, you know, um, Silver Creek uh, clinic here and meet some of the wonderful staff that Easter Seals uh, employs, and it was just an excellent experience. Um, through my time, you know, with the Cohen Veterans Network as a spokesperson sharing my story, as well as a Medal of Honor recipient, I'm afforded, you know, opportunities uh, like this to be able to come and, and speak to, you know, great organizations like this. Um, it's something that I do somewhat often, but, you know, every, every time there's still little nerves. And uh, one thing that was funny is, you know, I, I was feeling great, you know, met some wonderful people, heard some amazing stories. Uh, get here and I, you know, kind of do my little routine, you know, call the wife and, and get some, some motivational stuff going. You know, it's usually the same. You know, you do great. Um, you know, you've done this before. <clears throat> Stop crying. Uh, you know, th things like that. And so, you know, I come down here for the reception. I'm, I'm feeling good. I, I'm really excited about the evening. And then I see some, you know, people in uniform. I was like, oh, great. You know, some fellow veterans. It'll be It'd be nice to see some, and then I noticed that that's those ranks. I, you know, those are a little higher than I'm, I'm used to seeing. And then, uh, and then it's basically every enlisted soldier's nightmare to run across the uh, sergeant major of the army. And, <laughs> and so, I, I remember standing there. I was like, no, that's not him. Uh -uh. And then uh, I was like, yeah, that that is him. I was like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. That doesn't matter. Just go up and introduce yourself, introduce yourself. And then the voices in my head are like, what if your tie's messed up? Like, you didn't stretch, you should have stretched. What if he makes you do push-ups? So, so all, these, all these things were happening. And then so I'm, I'm sweating and then all this, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna walk right up to him, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go introduce myself. And then I noticed other people in uniforms with a lot more stars than I'm used to seeing. I was like, yep, I'm gonna go introduce myself to him, next time I see him. <laughs> so, so. No, no, but really it's uh, my honor to be here and it's fantastic to learn even more about what Easter Seals is doing, um, even for veterans like me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you from you know, my personal experience that we're a long way from Afghanistan <laughs> and uh, that's where I served my last tour of duty and it's a long way for any veteran or military family trying to enter civilian life. I can really speak to the urgency within the veteran community. While many vets are getting help from Easter Seals and other private organizations like that, too many are not, and hundreds of thousands are on the way. Too often, veterans who showed amazing courage under fire are reluctant to ask for the help that they need. Do I get help? A veteran might ask themselves. Or, do I suck it up like I was trained? Am I just supposed to take a knee, drink some water? And they always told me to change my socks, but that's not a thing. <laughs> I had those same questions when I returned from deployment. I realized something was wrong, something was off. Something was different than the way it was before I left. It's a story that echoes in the lives of so many veterans in today's population. Take a look at this story about Robert.
I came home physically from Vietnam in 1970. But spiritually, emotionally, mentally, I came home in 1985. I had a, a big alcohol problem. I was divorced. I ended up living in downtown Detroit, going to flop house to flop house. In 1985, I had, uh, I had my last drink. And I just heard something inside me saying, now it's time, Bob, now it's time. And um, I guess I saw the light because, you know, because I haven't had a drink since. I see the young kids today, a lot of Afghanistan vets and Iraqi vets. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at me. I'm looking at the old Bob. I'm not the same man as I used to be. Thank God. I've been working for Easter Seals now for going on six years. But I see the pain. I see the suffering. My job is to make sure that they're, they're receiving all these services that Easter Seals has available for them. We get a lot of our referrals from other veterans who we have helped, because they're out there today helping veterans. We have had volunteers here at Easter Seals that was in our program. Some of my staff were homeless vets that Easter Seals helped, because they know it's about giving back. It's not about taking anymore. We gotta give back. Every one of us that's in this circle here today have been close to the veterans that we're helping. There's a passion for it taking care of our comrades. Being able to work with veterans and assist them with employment and training and seeing that appreciation, because I know somebody out there is willing to give these veterans a chance. You know, coming out the military after 23 years, taking care of soldiers, I still, a small part of me still feel like I am still taking care of soldiers. Thank you to you guys for helping me in my situation. You are here for me because I wouldn't know where I would be at. I was amazed the number of homeless veterans that Easter Seals served. I'm, I'm glad we out there serving the veterans. I'd say the most important thing that uh, Easter Seals has done for me is uh, help me become more humble and grow up a little bit more and accept that and responsibility and it carried me on. We're here to help our vets make them whole again. And that's what Easter Seals does. Bob and I may have served at different times, but we share common challenges that um, most veterans returning home experience. Caring for my mental health helped my transition be easier so I can live a fulfilling life today. There are many veterans that do not get the help they need, and they need our support. We know that wait times for mental health treatment at the Department of Veterans Affairs can sometimes, in some locations, exceed six months. There's a crucial need for the work that organizations like Easter Seals and the Cohen Veterans Network are doing, and it will only increase. It is now my privilege to be able to make a special announcement. The Cohen Veterans Network is a nationwide network of clinics focusing exclusively on providing free mental health care for veterans and their families. We began last year and opened five clinics in 2016. More than 2,000 vets and family members have been helped already. And to meet the needs of more veterans and their families, we'll be opening five more locations in the next coming months. The Cohen Veterans Network uses a rigorous process for selecting partners to open our clinics. We look at innovative organizations who deliver on their commitments and have world-class services. This list includes the NYU Langone Medical Center, the University of Pennsylvania, and USC. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm proud to share that the Cohen family has chosen Easter Seals, serving DC, Maryland, and Virginia, for the new Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic that will serve our nation's capital.
Easter Seals has received an investment of more than $10 million to open the clinic this fall. This investment will change the lives of thousands of Washington, D.C. area veterans and their families. It said lead applause, but that was really awkward. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you tonight and continue to enjoy your evening. Please welcome Easter Seals serving D.C., Maryland, and Virginia board members, Joe Matore and Phil Panzarella. We're going to go a little bit off script also this evening, and Kyle, we have someone that we'd like to introduce to you. So, Sergeant Major? <laughs> hey, next time, don't be so nervous to come say hi. Gotcha, hey, let's give this superhero a big round of applause, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 